Alright, so I've been messing around with this scope for a little bit and I've just been playing. Uh, I just received my uh, 5 port USB 3.0 uh, card made by Anatech. Isn't that the company in Office Space? <laughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, but I, I kind of remember, remember that being the uh, company in Office Space. Yeah, hmm. Uh, <laughs> that was a funny movie. If you haven't seen Office Space, you got to check that out. So I'm just going to take the card out and kind of just throw it under the scope here and see how it looks. Eh, it's not too bad. Not for 25 bucks, it's not too bad. Alright, so let's see. Oh, wow, I didn't even have to focus that. That's great. Look at that chip. Oh, it's nice to have a board under here that's not fried to hell. And it looks good. Oh, I still got the uh, camera in manual focus. Oh, one push focus. Oh, okay. So you just push that and it refocuses. Ah, you'd figured I'd read the manual by now, but I haven't. I just went and shoveled some food down my throat, and now I'm just kind of back at it here. Manual. Auto. Ah, okay. So the right, the right button is uh, turns it back to auto for some reason. I don't know. So let's I want to zoom in on this chip. Wow, not bad. And it actually looks like the chip is slightly misaligned on the uh, board. Not that that's a, that's a huge deal, but or is that just the solder mask is misaligned here? Yeah, it kind of looks like it's just the solder mask. That's weird. It's like almost every other pin on this has been either cut off. You know, it's, uh, I see little points on the chip, little, uh, connections on the chip, like, you know, right there, it's not even being used, it's just cut off, and then you have a, a leg that comes down here, and that one's cut off, a leg comes down here, and so on. Hmm, that's strange, I've never seen that before. I'll tell you, that autofocus works really well. This is so, uh, yeah, not bad. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this a lot now. Try this chip. Hmm. There's some there's some terminals that are not even being used. You know, it's pretty funny, but you buy these cheap boards and you look at them under a microscope and you're less impressed. What's this crap?
What's that, a snot from Hong Kong? Uh. Well, at least the caps look halfway decent. They pick and place machine, maybe, I don't know, either that or it's just the reflow that kind of made these, some of these parts a little crooked, but... It's probably not the highest quality of uh, manufacturing, I'm sure. Is that a solder ball right there? Hey, yeah, look at that little solder ball just hanging out right there. Oh man, this is going to be bad. Now I'm going to put every surface mount board I have that I get onto this thing before I plug it in. It's, this is bad. Is that another one? Jeez. Probably just prolong the life of this board for about five years. I'm just kidding. No, looks good so far. I am digging this camera, absolutely. Like I said, especially for this inspection stuff, it's it's awesome. You can just fly around the board. You're not sitting there going up and down with the focus. And I guess the big question is how how long the camera is going to last. You know, I won't say it was cheap. You know, anything with moving parts, you just kind of get a little, uh, get worried about it. That's cool. Excellent. Through the back. Uh, nothing spectacular and exciting on the back side. QC passed. Well, they didn't see those solder balls. I'm sure it passed on the test bed. Are there even test points on this thing? No. They just probably throw it in a machine and say, eh, fire it up. It's good. All right, well, I guess I'll throw it in the machine now. Get Hopefully, uh, I'm hoping to achieve that I can get 1080p on both of my USB cameras at the same time. Um, I'm running here an i5 uh, HP uh, in this room, so who knows? We'll, we'll find out, and especially with the 1080p camera on the capture card. That's why I'm trying to... See. I didn't want to buy a USB adapter for this camera. I just... I just had it uh, a vision in my mind that it would just be a bad idea for latency, compatibility, dropouts. Uh, I don't know, just something, something about a USB capture card just doesn't sit right with me. Uh, if you get something going right to the bus of the motherboard, it doesn't get any better than that, you know. That's so that's why I went that route. So uh, I'm not saying that a USB you know, external uh, capture card won't work. I'm sure it will, but uh, I just chose to, to do it, you know, a little bit differently. And 
I'll hopefully get down the latency so when I'm talking the image that you're seeing is not delayed by two or three seconds so if I'm actually trying to mention something on a part that I am working on it's not it's all gonna match up you know that's what I'm hoping so all right well uh, we'll see you in the next video